In this video, I'm going to show you how you can, with a few friends, play read a Shakespeare play. So we're on the home page of playersshakespeare.com and on this page there's a list of all the plays we've published which you can use. And I'm going to use Twelfth Night as uh, the example for how we might um, play read it. So I click on the title of Twelfth Night and uh, that takes me to a script of Twelfth Night. You'll have seen from a previous uh, video that we have a configuration window here which can let us uh, show, change how we see this, the script. If I open that by clicking on the gear wheel, you'll see there's something called multi-part casting. And in here, we can see the cast lists for play reading. If I open that by clicking on the little arrow, you'll see that first of all, there's a casting for six readers, then one for seven readers, with seven links to different scripts, then a casting for eight readers, which, surprise, surprise, lets you eight people play the play, then for nine, for 10, for 11, for 12, and then for 21. Uh, the casting for 21 is the original casting that was used uh, by Shakespeare's players. So we can cast the play for 6 to 12 players to read it. And what I'm going to demonstrate is how you can do that for 8. 8 is a very handy number for play reading. It, it works with nearly all plays. And what we're going to do is show you that casting for rate and how you can set that. each person's um, tablet or PC or mobile phone to uh, play the play. So I've been lucky enough to have been cast as Viola. So to see Viola's script, I can click on uh, the player two of eight, which only has the role Viola. Um, I can then choose whether I want to see it in parts and cues mode or in high text mode. I uh, now set it up as I want it, and I close the configuration window by pressing on the uh, gear wheel again. Now I see a script which shows me uh, Viola's lines highlight in um, yellow, I believe. So Viola doesn't appear in Act 1, Scene 1, and so we see the script completely blank. However, she does appear in Act 1, Scene 2, so if I click on Act 1, Scene 2 here, we'll see the script for Act 1, Scene 2, and... Um, you can see that my lines as player two are highlight in, highlight in yellow and so on for the rest of the play. Uh, all her lines will be highlight. Now it might be worth showing you that if we change that to another player who has more than one role, the different roles he has are highlight in different colors. So if, uh, for example, I take um, player one, which is Orsino and Maria and second office. Uh, again, leave it in highlight text, close the setup window, and when the script comes back, we're on act one, scene two. Uh, Orsino is in act one, scene one. So if we click on Act 1, Scene 1, we'll see that he, his lines are in uh, purple and Maria is in Act 1, Scene 5. So if we click on Act 1, Scene 5, oops, that didn't work. Click again. And we click on Act 1, Scene 5, we can see that Maria's lines are in green. 
So all the roles that uh, people are playing within a, a cast list can be selected by each individual choosing uh, the particular role they have been allocated and um, selecting uh, the appropriate player number here. It might be worth talking a little bit about uh, how we allocate this roles, the, the, these players. Uh, in Edinburgh, we tend to cast uh, by lot, and so we have eight dominoes in a bag, and uh, the, each domino has a different set of dots from one to eight, and we each person selects um, a domino from the bag, and that says which player they're going to play. You could, of course, cast this with uh, the person who's running the group just allocating player numbers to individuals. So, what I've shown you here, this way of uh, each person selecting a different player number can work, but it's a little bit prone to error. It's quite sim easy to be on the wrong casting, so I might be player four, but select player four of nine instead of four of eight, in which case I've lost uh, the role of um, Curio. So casting uh, in this way is not the easiest way to make sure that we've all got the right players. So we provide an easier way for you to allocate those castings. And I'll show you that uh, now. You'll see on the right-hand side here, to the right of the script, or if you're using a mobile phone, it comes after the script, there are different cast lists for different numbers of people. Let's stay with the cast list for eight. Uh, if we click on this link here, we'll find a page comes up which shows us a brief description of the play and then the same list of players. But now all we have to do is click on one of these links and we'll, um, we'll get the script for that individual without the risk of um, the same risk of problems that we have uh, with the other way of doing it. So let's be a bit different and take uh, player number five, Malvolio, and um, click on him. And we get a script. And just to show you that it's actually doing the same thing, it's selecting player five of eight, Malvolio, captain and first officer, and it's in highlight text mode. And um, if we go to Act 1, Scene 5, which is the first scene where Malvolio occurs, we'll see that his lines are highlit when we get to where he is. There are Malvolio's line highlit in colour, and all the other parts that he has will also, that this player has, will also be in different colours. So I hope that explains how if you have a group of you together, you can set up each person with a different uh, player uh, in a casting for the number of people you have present, and then read the play. For each of those links, if we go back to the... Um, we go back to the a cast list for eight players. For each of those links, when we, uh, when we click on the link, we will be taken to Act 1, Scene 1. And everybody starts at Act 1, Scene 1, and we read the play right the way through to Act 5, Scene 1. Now, if you need to change your play, you go back to the home, and um, if you click on any of the uh, plays with uh, in highlight in blue, you'll find cast lists in the way there were for Twelfth Night. I hope that's given you an introduction 
for how you can cast a play for play reading using our cast lists.